Hey guys, LC here, and today I'm going to be showing you another Star Wars toy collection from my uncles. So yeah, I got this box right here. So it has only a few. So if you guys haven't seen some of my uncle's Star Wars toy collections, uh, the the playlist of, of that collection video will be into the subscription below. So go ahead and click that once you're done with this video right here. So. Let's get started. So here's our first one. It, it almost looked like a, um, this one is like a storm, a black stormtrooper. He's, so yeah, it's like the one who pilots the TIE fighters. It is uh, pretty unique. See the back of it. And it does actually open, just so you all know. So it opens right, I think it's on top of the head. Oh. So yeah, it opens like such, and you move this down. So yeah, but it does. It's almost look like a communication um, uh, bridge, as you can see, and it does move these pieces like such. Does move this piece right here. It's almost like a bridge that you go that you can walk on the platform. So yeah. And let's see what else they do. Uh, so yeah, they move these pieces. I don't even know what these pieces are for right here. I don't know what they do. What are these does? Oh, uh, I guess it might, I guess it turns the satellite like this. Like when you try to give a signal. It's pretty cool. So, yep, you just, if you want to put it back in, just put it back in place. Like this, such. There. As you can see, it's, it's that easy. So, yep. So that's the store. So that's the black store trooper. Oh, hope you guys actually like this one. So leave a comment below. So next, next one we have is Jabba the Hutt. Maybe all familiar with this character. He he actually. Um, he actually uh, runs his own bandits from Tatooine. So, let me show. Yeah, it does come off like this. As you can see. More like this. It's like um, the entrance to his, to his throne. As you can see right there. So yeah, that's the entrance to his throne. And here it's like um, this is actually where you go um, half of the city from Tatooine. If you can see a little picture right there in the background. So yep, and it moves this piece right here. Yeah, it moves here. I don't get what this little piece for, but just curious. And here, that's where, um, like a little home. It kind of almost looked like where Anakin, where um, Anakin Skywalker or Luke Skywalker used to live, like an old, almost look like an outpost that's in the middle of nowhere. And this part, I think this is actually from one of the scenes that, if you can see this this piece right here. That's actually the ex the escape pod. That's where R2 and R2 and R and 3PO kind of landed right before they escaped um, um, the stormtroopers in space when they hijacked Princess Leia's uh, spaceship. It's where they were heading their course to um, to Alderaan when uh, Vader kind of invaded that ship. So yep. So we put it back in place again. 
So yeah, this is job. This is actually Jabba the Hutt. Just to let y'all know. So next. I'm not even sure about this one. I don't hardly recognize it. Almost kind of looked like a character from Star Trek. I don't know. My uncle collects a lot of Star Trek stuff too. So leave a comment down below what, what character you think this one is because I don't recognize it. Okay, I think this piece moves up here. I don't want to try to break it, but... I feel like I almost got it. There we go. So, yeah, but I don't hardly recognize this one. So, yeah, there's, like, the stairs. And there's the throne, and all that stuff. They all look like where the High Council used to be. And this spins right here, so you get like the entrance of the door. Always look like a window. So, yep. And I'm not sure about this antenna right here. So, yep. Yeah, you just put this ladder back in place. Add that back in place. I feel like this is from Star Trek. I'm not sure. But let me all know in the comment section of what you think this character is, alright? I think we're probably down to our last uh, our last uh, product here. Oh wait, there's still there's still another one. Yep, uh, this one, I think this one is from, ta actually this part I do most likely are f is familiar with. It. This is actually uh, one of the Sand Village from Tatooine, because I do recognize some of the scenes. That's actually from the first movie from Star Wars The Phantom Menace. That one I am familiar with. So yeah, like this is actually like some of the little little homes from the ins from the outside, and it almost looked like a, a booth, like you serve merchandise or probably food or water. So yeah, like that's why people kind of try to make a living of trying to survive. And there's probably some spare parts and stuff. In the background, this is what the inside looks like. I don't know what this part does, but. It's actually like, almost like a workshop. So like where you build things and you fix them and all that stuff. So it, it is a good particular piece. So yep, um, I wanna say, do any of these pieces actually move? I'm not, I'm not gonna try to break them or anything. I just want to see if any of the pieces actually open or close or something. I already know this piece comes off. So I guess that's probably it. So yep, that's probably it. So this is um, the scene from from Tatooine again. So y'all, let me know about that one. Last but not least, 
Uh, the, uh, this one, I think I am pretty familiar with. I think this is actually the scene from from Star Wars Episode Six, where where Luke Skywalker, where where they cap, where they actually put Han Solo and and che and Chewie and and um, R2 and 3PO and um, and Luke Skywalker right into the right into Jabba like Jabba the Hutt's palace just to free um, Han Solo from from the Hutts and they actually took them to the pits as you can see here's their little carrier and here is the pit and here's a little trigger that actually opens the mouth. Watch. And watch what happens when you put this in. See? And here is actually where, J where Jabba's palace is right here. And you see a, a frog. Almost look like a sand frog. Do have some pieces that it does come right off. I don't know. Okay, this piece does come off, so put it back in. Okay, it does come off. And here's from the inside of what it looks like. Let me try to fix some of the figures. Listen, it's like they add like uh, Lego figures on here. As you can see, here's like the inside of Jabba's palace. And here on the ground is actually uh, Boba Fett. As you can see. Oh, actually it's not Boba Fett. It's probably one of the council counselors for the huts and as you can see you can see Han Solo right there on uh, still in um, frozen and probably the entertainers and Jabba the Hutt, Jabba the Hutt himself and this piece actually comes off too and as you can see in the bottom right here that's where the pit is right there Yep, let me just put these pieces back into place. And I'll show you when they close the door. There you go. So yep, that's uh so that's Jabba the Hutt's palace and the pit. So that's gonna be it for today, so Hope you all like. Hope you all like my uncle's personal Star Wars toy collection, and I might make more of it if because he does have a lot more in it in his bedroom. And who knows? He pro he also has toy cars and probably remote control ones. Back in the day, sometimes he's good with fixing things. So thank you all for watching this video. If you guys like this video, you want to see more videos like this video right here and don't forget to turn on notifications when I post my next video and and I hope and I hope I get um, it to 800 subscribers and who knows I might do a, I might do a top five or ten shout out list if once I reach 800 subscribers and most importantly don't forget to like and subscribe and yeah don't forget to like and subscribe to LC vlogs and gaming so I hope y'all hope you all help a brother out just to reach 800 to 900 to 1,000 subscribers to reach my goal. I'm counting on all of you. So LC is signing off. Bye bye.